So the real tournament has finally concluded its first round, and we are now here to discuss our predictions for the second round of the real tournament predictions. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. So, what are we thinking? What are we shaking up in that Yahtzee roll, that D&D dice roll going forward? Do you roll a d20? Yeah, I've done enough nerd references. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So let's get underway with this. So who do you guys think is going to win? Gao Lang or Justin? That's the big one. Now, what do I think? I mean, if you're clicked on this video, you want to know what I think. I think Gao Lang wins. I think Gao Lang wins the entire tournament, in fact. I have been saying this since the beginning of the real tournament. I think Gao Lang wins the real tournament. However, does he take damage is the clear prediction. Yes, yes he does. From one, at least one of these aces in the hole, the trump cards that Justin Kitagawa does have, he is going to utilize... And I think it's going to be lower body. I think he's going to take away his footwork. He's going to take away his dexterity. He's going to take away. He's going to take him out literally at the knees. He's going to take him out at the knees from I don't know what his ace in the hole is going to be, but he's absolutely going to go for the legs. So, though I think Gao Lang is going to the finals, I think he goes there damaged. He goes there. Damage, ladies and gentlemen. So, that being said, that's my prediction for the first round, which we're already, as of chapter 275, we're well underway. He's already dominating, and he left us with that bar of a line. I will not scorn you. I will not belittle you. I will just defeat you. Let's go. So, then we jump in to the highlight match. Probably the best match of the real tournament, even barring the finals, which still, depending on who wins, may or may not be the best fight. The King of the King in matches versus the King of Purgatory. Let's goddamn go. I got the Fang picked. I have a perfect record, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know. You saw my prediction video on the real tournament before. If you didn't, go check it out. It's posted. It's dated. You guys got it. I've picked every fight correctly. And I'm telling you, Gao Lang versus Agito in a rematch. That's why I say Justin gets a hit in on Gao Lang. Because nobody, whether Roland or Agito wins, is irrelevant. Fact of the matter is, one of them walks away goddamn damaged. The winner will be damaged. And Gao Lang needs to be damaged to make it a fair fight. So let's go. There's no way we're doing a rematch of Agito versus Gao Lang with Gao Lang at full health and Agito weakened. Gao Lang's gonna clear that. And we know we're not gonna do Roland damage versus Gao Lang because that's just not gonna happen because. Gao Lang going to win again. It doesn't prove anything. What we need to prove. Rematch style. We need to show Gao Lang evolving. He's already evolved in the Arashiyama match. We need to see this. It is going to be fantastic. It's going to be icing on the cake. Cherry on top. Beautiful. So. Gao Lang fans. You're eating good. Roll on vans. You're eating just as good. And Agito fans. Let me tell you one thing. I'm still betting on the fifth fang of Matsudo. I'm still betting on the best fang they ever had. Word to word. Let's go Agito. High diff. They're going to beat the shit out of each other. But Agito is going to win. And that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you beautiful people back here, gentlemen and ladies alike, 
for more Kangen next week. Looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. And we will see, as I said, all you guys back here next time. But those are my predictions. What are your predictions? Leave them down in the comment section down below. Looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. See you back here next time. Bye-bye.